Good morning, students. I hope all are uh, good. Today we are going to discuss lesson three: magnetism and magnetic effect of electric current. What is our lesson? Magnetism and magnetic effect of electric current. In that lesson, we have discussed number of topics, isn't it? Today we are going to discuss a new topic. What is the new topic? Is toroid. What is that? Toroid. This toroid is nothing but the solenoid. In our previous class, we have discussed detailly solenoid to find the magnet using the solenoid to find the magnetic field. In this class, we are going to discuss toroid using the toroid to find the magnetic field. Toroid is nothing but the solenoid. We have taken the solenoid. See that? This is the Solenoid. The solenoid bent in such a way, and the ends of this is one end. This is one end. Consider the solenoid. The solenoid is allowed to bend in such a way, and the ends are connected together and forms a circular ring. It is known as a ring. If you take the solenoid, bend in such a way, the ends are connected together, form a circular ring. Is known as the ring. See that? It will look like a circle, you know. So the solid ring, the both ends connected together, the both ends. First end, second end, first end, second end. The solenoid bent in here such a way, and the two ends are connected in the form of circular ring. It's known as toroid. Law. 
using ampere circuit we have to find the ampere circuit law. What is the ampere circuit law? See, close integration of C D dot D L beta equal to mu naught I L closed. Now, to discuss, we are going to discuss that. What is ampere circuit law? Is it? So, this is the ampere circuit law. This is vector form mu naught I L closed. So, uh, first we have to find the magnetic field. What is that? To find the magnetic field, open space, open space, first one, open space interior to the solenoid. So, what we have to find first? Open space. Interior to the solenoid. Open space, interior to the solenoid. So here, first we uh, have uh, to see the point P. See that this is the point P. In that point P, this is interior, interior, open space. Okay, what is that? Open space. So I want to construct a uh, circle that means ampere loop. Ampere loop as a circle, the circle of radius what is it? R1. What is that? The circle of radius is R1. In that uh, here, when the current uh, enters into the So what is R1? R1, we have constructed uh, one ampere loop around the point P. What is the shape of ampere loop? It is nothing but uh, circle. The circle of radius is R1. What is that? The circle of radius is, what is that? R1. So we want to find the length of the circle. How to find the length of the circle? We have to use circumference of the circle. What is that? Circumference. Circumference of the circle. Suppose the what is the circle name? The circle P is what is that? That means we have to L1, 2 pi, circle of the circle mathematical formula, 2 pi r. So here radius is r1, length is considered to be L. Using uh, what we have been using, means using ampere circuit law, what is the ampere circuit law close to B vector dl equal to mu naught i. Here we are taking that uh, B integration of dl equal to mu naught i enclosed, isn't it? Here i enclosed. The here i equal to zero. What is the reason? No current in this circle. No current in the circle. So right side of the equation is zero. So left side magnetic field is constant. What is dl? If integrating uh, dl, we are getting l. So l is nothing but two pi r1. So two pi r1 equal to right side. If put i zero, totally we put in not into zero. We are getting zero. So two pi r1 equal to zero. So what is the magnetic field? Zero divided by 2 pi r1 is nothing but 0, isn't it? So when the magnetic field vanishes, means there is no magnetic field. It is possible, there is no magnetic field. When it is possible, uh, the, when the magnetic field vanishes, means uh, the loop has, what is the loop? The loop is to be P. There is no current, there is no magnetic field. There is no current, there is no magnetic field. Open space, interior to the solenoid. What is the magnetic field? Zero. The reason I said that, no current in the circle. That means no current in the loop. Now that's the loop. Because angular and loop is considered as circle. So B into, this is magnetic field constant, integration of DL. So see here, I will mark that then. Integration of DL equal to what is that? L. Integration of dx is nothing but formula. This is formula. Formula. This one is now. Okay. So b two pi r one. So b equal to zero divided by two pi r one is nothing but zero. It is possible. So uh, it is possible only the magnetic field is zero. The point the inside is under. Next day, same.
ओपन स्पेस सेकंड वो ओपन स्पेस और इस तरह ओपन स्पेस एक्सटीरियर एक्सटीरियर तू दिस वाली ना है Exterior to the solenoid. So point P around the solenoid in the circle is what is that? Radius of this R1. The magnetic current is to the and we have to assume exterior part. What is the exterior? Suppose I construct that this is the the dotted lines are exterior. And we are in blue. This looks like a circle, concentric circle. See, this is exterior, and uh, when current uh, coming out to the exterior part, see dots are represent the current uh, out to the. Already we have discussed in the solenoid now. Just you recall that. What is the meaning of dot? Circle and dot. This is the current. So I construct the uh, what I construct an ampere loop. What is the ampere loop mean? Suppose that I want to construct the tube exterior. For uh, the radius of the uh, loop is considered to be suppose we have to give out the sign R3. What is that? What is here indicating R3? What is R3? Radius of the loop P. What is R3? Radius of the loop Q. Radius of the loop Q to find the magnetic field at the exterior. To find the magnetic field. Already we knew that the magnetic field outside the solenoid. What is that? Zero. We can directly write the equation zero. Otherwise, how to find the magnetic field outside using same amperes circuital circuital law. So in the here. The ampere loop Q. The ampere loop Q. What is the ampere loop Q? What is R three? Radius of the loop. So the length of the loop. So L three. We have done L three. Circumference of the circle gives the L. So two pi. R3, I am correct. Two pi R3. Here we are assuming the two pi R1 because first circle, this is third circle. Two pi R3. So the length of the loop L3 equal to two pi. Using Hamiltonian circular law, B vector goes to dot B vector equal to mu I enclosed. Here I enclosed going to zero. Reason because the see that the current. Out to the plane of the paper. That means there is no current flow to the circle plane of the paper. So what about the equation? So the equation uh, C D L equal to mu naught into zero because I enclosed this. What is that? Zero. So D L B two by R three. Equal to mu naught zero. So totally B equal to what is that? Zero. This is also only possible when the no current in the circle. So there is no magnetic field. What is that? This, this is possible when the magnetic field at the point Q vanishes. So what is the magnetic field here? Zero. Same for what is the magnetic field here? B is equal to zero. What is that? Magnetic. Field. Then only. This equation is possible. Consider this is equation number one and equation number two. Magnetic field vanishes at the point B. Q is vanished. The bar B equal to zero. So next, inside the toroid, what we will find inside the toroid. So I separate it from the diagram. See that actually this is the diagram. Now to find the magnetic field. Inside the toroid, what is the inside the toroid? What means it? Point S. See one side is three diagram, is two diagram. So this is point P, isn't it? What is the circle radius? The radius of the circle R1. So 
So current uh, the circle is represented by uh, class symbol. Next, we are uh, assuming the ambient loop interior inside the sunlight. What is the radius of the circle? Means R2. This is point is now to find the magnetic field at the point S. So, what is the uh, exterior point? The exterior points are represented by dotted. What is the exterior point we are assuming? We are assuming it uh, like uh, Q0. And uh, the exterior point with the current vectors is coming out. See, dotted lines, dot point. Okay, our aim is to find out to find the magnetic field, the ampere loop C. This is the ampere loop S. Yes. What is the radius of the circle? The radius of the circle is the, so R3. This is point Q. This is R3. This is R1. And this radius of the circle part is side circle 2 is R2. Using ampere circle law, we want to find the building. Ampere's circular law. What is Ampere's circular law? Close line integral d vector dot d l vector equal to mu naught i enclosed. Isn't it? Here the Ampere loop, the Ampere loop. Is circle, then the radius of the loop is R2. What is the radius of the circle? The radius of the circle loop is what is that? R2. So the length of the length of the loop we want to manage loop is L2 is equal to 2 by R2. See, I will underline that. Length of the loop L1 is equal to 2 by R1. Length of the loop L3, that means third circle, exterior part, 2 by R3, L2 is equal to 2 by R2. Now we have to substitute here. In this, uh, inside the toroid, we find the magnetic field and the current flows through the toroid. So we can easily find the magnetic field of the pointer. Yes. So here uh, net current uh, enclosed by substitute that. So uh, first to integrate BL equal to mu naught I enclosed. Where the current enclosed means uh, see that they have uh, the I has number of terms, see, number of n number of terms, mu naught n i. Here n be the number of terms, isn't it? What is I? I be the current to the circle 2 for the so once again so what is the toroid toroid is nothing but we are taking a solenoid that are bent in such a way and the ends are connected in the form of uh, are connected to in the circular form or in the form of circular ring is known as toroid our aim is to find the magnetic field interior and exterior interior the magnetic field is maximum exterior the magnetic field is zero how to find means using ampere circuit law in first method, open space interior to the solenoid. Second method, open space interior to the uh, exterior to the solenoid. In open space interior to the solenoid, we have to assume the point B, construct the ampere loop. The ampere loop is like a uh, circle. Circle of radius is R, length of the circle is 2 pi. Substitute that. There is no current in the loop, so the magnetic field is completely vanished. So, what is the magnetic field at the point B? It is 0. So, uh, open space. Uh, Exterior. So exterior there is no magnetic field directly you can apply the, uh, the magnetic field at the point Q is zero values. When they values there is no current uh, condition. Inside the toroid we have to construct uh, the ampere loop which is like a circle. The circle of radius is R2. Uh, then uh, the length of the uh, circle is uh, 2 pi R. We have to uh, uh, consider the length of the circle how to consider this using a parabolic formula. 
circumference of the circle, that is the length of the circle. Now to find the magnetic field inside the, in, inside the, the in, integrate the equation with the inside of the equation uh, ambient circle, B is constant the real integral the mu naught ni. How that? Yeah, it means the current has a number of turns. Okay, so next we have to give and find the magnetic field of the uh, inside the current. So that equation B, there is no change. So 2 pi R2, isn't it? Equal to mu naught N9. That equation. So that's suppose that this is equation number 3. In that equation number 3, I will substitute left side 2 pi R2. Why? Integration of dn equal to what is that L? L, uh, what is L2? L2 is nothing but if you integrate that, we are getting L. L is nothing but L2. L2 is what is that? B into 2 pi R2. R2 is the kind of the magnitude inside that numerator N9 by 2 pi R2. Isn't it? Next, B is equal to mu on Ni. This is the magnetic field in the toroid inside the point, inside that. So how that n k means because n is equal to uh, n divided by 2 pi r2. This is one more question. How that one more question they have means they give problem. Suppose the, the toroid, see that n is equal to 5000 tons. Then our radius of the circle equal to 2.5 meter. Okay. Then to find the, the current of the toroid is equal to 5 ampere. To find the magnetic field equal to 1. You will try in a O. So N value, R2 value, I value value, substitute that, then find the magnetic field. This is important one more question. This question is asked a number of times. Okay, here yeah, N yeah, how to calculate means small n calculation. Small n calculation, n divided by 2 pi r2. Pi value not 2 value no. Okay, this is the way to find out the magnetic field given toroid. So, very simple question. This is 5 mark question. Uh, in one step by step, you will do that. Then you will get a clear idea. So, the last uh, come, come. difficult question. Uh, magnetic field is 0 when there is no current in the loop, ampere loop or toroid. Okay. If you have any doubt, please contact me. Thank you.